good afternoon from SeaWorld Orlando. Today is the day that we get to ride Icebreaker. I'm kind of nervous. I know this is considered kind of more like a family coaster, yeah. but I'm still kind of nervous. The way that they, or they, they put this in between Rover's Boxcar Derby and Mako. So this is like the, the next step to Mako. Right. So like this is like a, a progressive step for kids that are just like getting into roller coasters and like maybe the kiddie coaster in Sesame Street is a little bit too small for them. This will be the next one. <laughs> so there are no loops. That was one thing that I was kind of nervous is are there loops? I couldn't remember. It's been so long since I've seen any of the progress of the coaster. Right. So there are not any loops. No. Yeah. But there is a forward launch, a backward launch, a forward launch, and the backward launch goes up a spike that goes greater than 90 degrees. Okay. So, should be pretty <laughs> exciting. I'm ready. Wanted to say thank you to SeaWorld for having us out, and we're gonna head in. So, let's get on this roller coaster. All right, so this is the closest to a loop that we're gonna get. It's like an overbanked turn right here. Look at these little, like, hops on it, though. Oh, man, this is gonna be so fun. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, and the little top hat over here. It's an overbanked top hat, too, I think. Oh, man, okay. So, like, you come up sideways, and then you flatten out on the top. I'm a little more nervous now that I'm seeing it. Oh, I'm less nervous. <laughs> I'm more excited. Yeah, see, just standing here, the top hat looks nice and tame, nice and easy, over the top. Nice, easy turns, easy banks, easy bunny hops. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a nice, smooth ride the entire time. So we're over here near Glacier Bar, Wild Arctic, Altitude Burger, and then over here, here it is, the entrance to Icebreaker. Wanted to show Icebreaker is opening February 18th. They do have some pass holder previews, 30th through 31st Platinum Pass members, February 1st through 2nd Platinum and Gold, February 7th through 13th Platinum Gold Silver, February 14th and 15th, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and Fun Card holders. Ooh, we started doing some testing here. So right there, that was the backwards launch, which is first, then it launches forward, then it runs backwards again, and does the big launch backwards, up the greater than vertical spike, and then back down again. All right, so before we get on and ride, this is the test seat, so we wanted to kind of give you guys an idea. Is this the only thing that I'm going to have on? What, the comfort collar? Yeah. Oh no, the, and the lap bar. So you're green. Yeah. Good to go. So it looks like red is about here. Oh, okay. That's not, not a lot of space. Okay. It definitely feels like a tighter fit on the sides. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. It is very comfortable though. Yeah. Feels like it's hugging you in, right? I, I feel like I'm in like a roller coaster cocoon. So here are the height requirements for the roller coaster. Guests must be 54 inches tall to ride alone, and guests between 48 and 54 must ride with a supervising companion 14 years or older. So Jackson has 10 inches. Uh, 12 inches. <laughs> he's, he's got a whole foot to yeah. wait for this one. And you can buy Quick Q right here. They do have lockers available for rent so that you don't have to bring any of your stuff on. So a single location locker is $2 for the first two hours and $1 for each additional hour, or $8 gets you unlimited ride locker rentals for all day, and you can transfer from ride to ride for that. These are a little small though, but my bag would fit in there no problem. Oh, please secure your valuables. I will say that SeaWorld parks do allow GoPros on if you have the proper mounting equipment. All right, heading up to ride Icebreaker right now. Some lovely queue theming around here. There is a informational video that shows what's happening and the rules of the ride. Oh, and they have some facts about the Arctic Circle here too. So, Jen, are you excited? I'm pretty nervous. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's, it looks a little more intense than I thought it was. It's, it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're next in line, getting on right now. So we didn't realize that the GoPro that SeaWorld was using had the wind reduction mode turned on. So our voices are really muffled and you can't really hear what we're saying. So we're gonna reenact it for you. So right here, we're talking a little bit about our collars and our restraint system. 
and then Jim came up with the idea that we should tell each other icebreakers on Icebreaker. So I asked if, if do you come here often? Uh, and I said, has this the first ya orange roller coaster you've ridden? <laughs> and then I started giving facts about Antarctica and the Arctic because Antarctica means no bears but it's not the actual animal that it is referring to it's the fact that there is a constellation Ursa Minor and Ursa Major which are bears and you can't see them in Antarctica but you can in the Arctic and then I was saying oh yeah I, it was I, you were very impressed I, <laughs> I wish that you guys could have heard us talking there and so, now oh yeah. I'm talking about how we're going to go forward and then we'll stop and then the track will scoot over to meet up with the actual ride track so we're going to go sideways and then we are commenting on how cool it looks for us to be moving sideways and I was saying that I wish that you guys could have seen the contraption that was like moving yeah, us over because it looked really cool. Yeah, it did look really cool. And then we launched backwards. Ah, that's what I sounded like. Ah. And I was just trying to explain to Jen, this is good. This is what it's supposed to do. Now we're going to go forward. And then I said, I'm scared. Ah. And then we made it to the top. Oh, and then I said, I didn't know it was going to do that, because I didn't know it was going to do that. Yeah, Jen thought it was broken, and I said, no, we're launching backwards now, up and then the I spike. Ah! And I could not control myself, I had to throw my arms up there. <laughs> now we're launching forward for the last time, where we'll go up and over the top hat. And then I was saying, I almost lost my thing. Yeah, and then the rest of this is me going, wee, wee. <laughs> And then I'm going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this part. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, little bunny hops, little bunny hops. That was super fun. <laughs> then I clapped. And then nice. I said, yeah, that was pretty fun. And then you said how you were sweating. Oh yeah, I was sweating. <laughs> and then I said, I could ride that over and over and over and over again. And then I said, I'm shaking. I said, that was a very enjoyable ride. Oh no, yeah, I said that was scary. Um, that was scarily fun, but I'm shaking. And then I laughed. And then we clapped. I hope you enjoyed this reenactment of our audio from Icebreaker. We had a good time doing it. All right, so we just got off. What did you think? Okay, so I, I don't, I can't, we've done so many like after ride interviews, I can't remember if I told you guys this or not, but it is um, surprising. It was surprisingly uh, thrilling. Yeah. I didn't think so when we first got here, Tim's like, it's a family ride, and but it is only really considered a family ride because of the height requirement. Right, this is more of a transitional roller coaster. It is absolutely a thrilling roller coaster. Yeah. Like, don't, don't let them fool you. It's, it's not Grover's, no. but it's not Mako. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a good uh, in the middle roller coaster. Yeah. But I had some good airtime. My butt was definitely out of the seat. A lot of really good airtime. I didn't know that it stalled at that first lift, yeah. so that kind of scared me. I thought something was wrong, and then I, I'm like, "Is this supposed to happen?" And you were like, "Yeah," and I thought you were messing with me, but it really is. It's supposed to happen. You're supposed to stall, and then you go through the backwards spike twice. So you go backwards, forward, stall. Then you go backwards again, and but, then you go forward, and then you're over the high hat, but the, the top hat. Sorry. The second, the second time you go through the spike, though, you're so much farther back, like farther up the spike. Yeah. So we were in the back of the coaster, so we were. It was very scary to me. <laughs> it was good. Intense. We can. I think it's going to happen here. I think it's going to launch past us in just a second. Is it? Are we going to get it? Maybe I can hear them, like loading out onto the track. So that's Let's another see. unique factor about this roller coaster is that the train moves sideways. So you load in the station and then they move you out a little bit onto the track and then the track goes sideways, connects to the main portion of the track and you launch backwards, forwards, backwards and then forwards again. Okay, Here they go. Okay, so you see how tame that looks. That's, the, the, first, second one. that's the first backwards launch. Show them show stalling. I don't know if I can see it. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> I want to ride back. Then we go up and over the top hat. 
I will say that I'm glad that people are screaming because when, when we went on, I was the only one that screamed. Yeah. So I thought I was going to be the only screamer. Nope. Lots of screamers <laughs> today. It was really good. It was. It was awesome. I, that's one I would for sure ride again. All right. Now we have to try our, our Altitude Burger. Yeah. There's a special blue bun. All right. Quick stop into Altitude Burgers. We're going to get the special Icebreaker Burger. So here is our burger. Look, it says Altitude Burgers stamped on the bun right there. It's a blue burger. So this is the Icebreaker Kobe Slider with Wagyu beef, Vermont aged cheddar, applewood smoked bacon, and caramelized red onion marmalade. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Look at how beautiful it is. Okay. And then we also got some onion rings. I also wanted to show you all the on-ride <laughs> photos that we got. So they do take two on-ride photos and they kind of like mix them together. So the one that I'm in is from the very first launch forward. So it was a very tame, calm <laughs> launch. And then Jen had her photo taken on the second launch, the more extreme one. What do you think of those onion rings? Oniony. Oh. No, they're good. They're good. <laughs> yeah. They're like crispy. Got a lot of onion, packed with onion flavor. I love them. I'll try to get everything. I'll try to get this. Look how far out of the bun the bacon, <laughs> bacon sticks. All right, you ready? Yeah, we'll wait. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. Does it taste blue? No. <laughs> That's awesome. This is a really good burger. Is that it? bacon was super crispy. The the jam on top, sweet, oniony flavor to it. The blue bun doesn't have any specific flavor to it. it. Just tastes like a bun. Okay. And then the patty. I always like Sea World's hamburgers because they flame grill them. Oh yeah, it tastes like like you actually made the burger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really good. This I is do a great like burger. the food at Sea World is always pretty delicious. Yeah. But you got to try this. Okay, I want to. Mm. Right? Yeah, the uh, the onion jam. That's nice. That onion jam is my jam. It's very like sweet and salty. It's like salty from the bacon, a little salt from the cheese, and then the onion jam is sweet. I like this. It's good, right? Yeah, it's a pretty solid burger. All right, before we leave, I just wanted to show off some of the Icebreaker merch. This Icebreaker shirt. No two shirts are exactly the same. Oh yeah, like a nice like icebreaker hat. Yeah. This one's 25 bucks. And then for $30, they have this shirt that you can kind of tie up like this. That's cool. The Coaster Dynamics Nano Coaster of Icebreaker, which we've done a few of these and we'll put a link to those in the description down below. Oh for yeah. 40 bucks. And it's just like a metal uh, model of it. Then they have some like tumblers, and little like stemless wine glasses down here. An opening day shirt. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. For twenty-seven dollars, like a tech shirt or like a like a rash guard, for forty-five dollars. A pin and patch set, and then just a special edition pin. I think does this one move? It does. Oh, that's cool. I like it. They have a pass holder exclusive one, and then a swell water bottle. Very cool. All right, now it's time to go and check on the drinks. So they do have a specific drink for Icebreaker. I don't know if it's called Icebreaker, but we'll head over to the Glacier Bar and see. Yeah, this is the Icebreaker with vodka, blood orange, lemon lime, blue curacao, top with a citrus aroma, aroma filled bubble. <laughs> Interesting. Is this the only drink that you guys do the bubble with? So this is actually for the media exclusive. Oh, gotcha. So this is going to be something that possibly will be on the menu. They're still kind of figuring out if it's going to be on the menu or not. Oh, it's pretty nice. Wow, it's almost like a fruit punch, but less sweet. It's like a tart fruit punch. <laughs> Yeah, All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to SeaWorld Orlando to ride Icebreaker. It was awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like really good time riding the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. uh, glad that it's finally open. It's been, we've been waiting for it for a while now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm definitely like pleasantly surprised. This is one that I will for sure be riding again. But yeah, I want to say thank you to SeaWorld for having us out. This was great. I can't wait to ride it again. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now awesome. it's time to pay the price. Thanks.